Have you ever turned your gaze skyward to take in the beauty of the heavens? What if I said you were doing it wrong? We asked Astro Athena to give us some tips for checking out the stars. Take a look. Hello, fellow stargazers. I'm Athena, your friendly neighborhood astronomer. There are 100 billion stars in the galaxy, hundreds of billions of galaxies in the universe. And right here in this solar system, eight planets and a Pluto. Aw, little Pluto. He's so cute, old dwarf planet. So there's a lot to look at in our night sky. You deserve to see it and understand the beauty of these incredible celestial bodies. That's why I'm here with a few of my favorite tips on how to make the most out of your stargazing. First up, embrace the darkness. Wait, that sounded a little bit sinister. I meant go someplace where there's not a lot of light pollution. Light that's traveled thousands of light years across the galaxy is a lot easier to see when it's not competing with street lights and billboards. Some state and national parks are even certified as official dark sky parks and sanctuaries. You'll want to take advantage of these dark spaces by letting your eyes adjust to the dark. And once they're adjusted, you'll want them to stay like that. So set your phone to dark mode, or don't look at your phone at all for a bit. Sounds tough, but I'm going to try and see if it's possible. Second, white light is simply too bright for stargazing. So invest in a red flashlight. If you'd rather not buy a special new light, try wrapping a red cellophane or paper over the end of your light. True story, I even used a red plastic bag from a Chinese food restaurant once. Chinese food, stargazing, it's pretty much the best night you can have. If you're in a dark sky park, you can probably see one of the most striking features of the night sky. Our very own Milky Way galaxy stretched across the sky. And the best time to see the Milky Way or any of the other stars and planets is during the new moon phase, which is when the moon is at its darkest. Listen, I love the moon, but sometimes she's got to move over so other celestial bodies can be on display. But Athena, you might ask, what if I live in a city like Camden, New Jersey and can't get out to someplace dark? Don't worry, a city folk can still see stunning celestial bodies. Try looking for one or two of the brightest objects in the night sky. And depending on the time of year and which hemisphere you're in, those objects are most likely either planet Jupiter or you could be looking at Venus. Jupiter will glow white. Venus will be a silver color. Also, none of these planets twinkle. They're all part of the non-twinkly club. Another city tip, being elevated on a rooftop or hill can get you a better view of the stars, but that's because it's blocking out city light, not because you're closer to space or anything. And while our stargazing can be a delight with just our unaided eyes, it can't hurt to get a closer look. And that's where these come in. Binoculars. If you don't have a telescope, you can start with some binoculars. A simple pair like this can give you 10 times the magnification of the unaided eye. Ooh, I just saw a star. The girl watching this. Hopefully these tips can help you experience the beauty of our night sky. I'm Athena. I'll see you next time, stargazers. And remember, per aspera ad astra. Bye. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really, I've seen this one over a hundred times.